Revelations chapter 13, verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by a sword and did live. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. I right, am the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And this one is going to be very quick. And uh, here's an article the brother, brother Chapal, he had uh, sent me. And he uh, actually brought this out in camp this Saturday. All right. It says, Sankrin beats must narrow link to FDA approve brain computer interface human trials. All right, so you have another company which uh, deals with brain chips as uh, Elon Musk company does, all right, which was his company is the Neuralink. So it says Sankrin beats Musk Neuralink to FDA approve. So the FDA approved it. It says brain computer interface human trials. Uh, it says here, you know how Texan might be meddling with the evolution of the human thumb? Well, we have good news. Synchron, a brain data transfer company responsible for the device that successfully allowed two paralyzed people to control computers with just their thoughts last year, announced this week that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has approved their request to start clinical trials. It says the approved reflects years of safety testing performed in conjunction with the FDA, Sankrin CEO Thomas, whoop de woo whoop de woo All right, so I'll leave a link to the article, all right, uh, in the description. Brothers want to continue to read the article, all right, but what I want to do is I want to play the video here, which uh, goes in more detail all right, about Synchron uh, company dealing with the uh, brain chip. All right, and this is that miracle. All right, this is going into that Revelations 13 and 16. All right, the MOTB. What I'm going to do is read the scripture again. This is Revelations chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600 three score and six all right and the word mark goes into the greek word karagma which root word is karax all right and it means to brand all right to uh make incision okay and when you go down here to the 600 three score and six it goes into the uh chi phi stigma all right and the word stigma when you get into it it means to prick all right, so we know what the mark of the beast is. All right, the MOTB. We know what it is. And uh, this prophecy is coming to pass. All right, because the Lord, all right, the Heavenly Father, is setting things in motion. All right, he has Esau establishing 
his new system, all right, putting it in play. You know, right now we're dealing with the prelude, okay? And uh, just a moment of time, all right, they're going to be, you know, making more of an effort to campaign and push that chippy chip, man. All right? So what I want to do now uh, is just play this video. It goes in more detail. It goes in more detail of, of uh, Sick Brian Company, all right, and showing you how they have the ability to put brain chips inside your head and you can perform and do things that a regular man can't, all right? And why this prophecy is so important, because it's game changer, all right? Matter of fact, it's very important because this scripture here, this is Revelations chapter 14, verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And Babylon is America. All right. So it says, um, Verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, which is his system, and receive his mark, all right, which is that karagma, it says in his forehead or in his hand. Okay, going back to Revelation 13, 16, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented in fire and brimstone. It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of his holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. All right. So if you go ahead and take that mark because you think it's cool, you get that karagma, karax. All right. You're going to be destroyed by the Lord. All right. And ultimately, it's going to be through that pestilence, which is that thermonuclear fire. All right. So, you know, that's why this prophecy is very important, you know, and it must come to pass. All right. Uh, real quick, I get one more. This is uh, Revelations 15. Revelations 15 and one. And I saw another angel, excuse me, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven lags plagues, for in them is filled up with the wrath of Yahweh. And I saw as it were the sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beasts. Because it's all about getting the victory, being of the Lord's elect. It says, and over his image, uh oh, going back to his system again, and over his mark. This is why the mark of the beast is a very important prophecy. All right. It says, and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on a sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. And they sung the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh, almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints, who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name. For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thou judgments are made manifest. And that's what's happening. All right. It's manifesting prophecy. Okay. So I don't want to, you know, string the lesson on too long, but I'm going to read it again. This is Revelation 13, 16. And he, cause of all, both small and and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so i want to give all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well salutations to the lord's elect shalom and uh you can stay tuned to the video shalom building 
something we think is going to be transformative. Technology, capable of streaming direct thought for people who through injury or disease have lost the capacity to move or speak. Brain-computer interfaces are a technology that record from a particular area of the brain called the motor cortex. It's a progressive disease that will eventually cause me to lose my voice and um, the use of my limbs. But uh, I've embarked on a trial using a stem trade device. The promise and the hope of this technology is to regain independence for people who have lost their physical independence. What we're doing differently is using the blood vessels as the natural highway into the brain and lacing the inside of the blood vessels with electrodes or sensors that can record activity from the brain. Those signals travel through a lead that exits out the body through telemetry unit that goes into a computer and those signals can be interpreted by the computer into different types of actions or commands. When the system's connected, we'll be able to see the neural signal flowing through and we'll spend some time studying those signals while the participant performs specific movements or the participant thinks about performing those movements. We can translate these signals into uh, switches or, or clicks. If a patient really wants to use the computer, for example, we can offer them a, a mouse click and they can start using the mouse as, as they would uh, have before they were paralysed. That platform then is like a Bluetooth out of your brain to control a computer or a device where there is no need for a keyboard or a mouse. This is a truly hands-free, brain-controlled platform. So Graham can right now surf the web, write up Word documents, check his emails, do basically everything that a person normally can on a computer using nothing but his brain and his eyes. Even now, I find it a bit mind-boggling that he can do that. I sort of got the concept of what they're doing, but how it's working, I still find it a little bit awe-inspiring, actually. The best way this goes is that someone who's had a severe injury who has had the best part of their life ripped away from them in terms of independence, gets control back in a way that lets them be their best person. We've done the first step and it's really exciting to think about where it's gonna go next.